Ego is good because it eliminates confusions, adds certainty. Absolutely, right? Like, it, you do have this level of certainty or this level of confidence when you do have an ego, right? I think this because of these reasons, and I can explain myself of why I think these thoughts. That's awesome. You need that because, like, if you don't have an ego, be like, uh, well, what do you think we should have done in this play? Uh, I mean, I think we should have, uh, I don't know, man. W what do you want me to do? And then your 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 players, your teammates, or your coaches are like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, you have to have a thought here. Thanks for the follow, Desmond. Like, what do you think? And, and you see these people panic, like, <laughs> I don't know, right? So having a sense of ego and understanding where your ego comes from, what it's based on, you know, why it's good. Because again, you have values here. Values are embedded in your ego. And from your ego, you can say decisions come from here. Like, these are all great things to have. Be confident, you know, be so have a sense of self-efficacy where you can do it. Woo! Thanks, Pac- Pac- and then Thank you. I should really put up the uh, follow thing. Why isn't it? Oh, is, oh, it is coming up. There it is. Let's put it in the corner. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. So, these things are great. These things are, are really, really good. But again, this also comes in the when it goes bad is if it's too strong. I think these things are all great to have, but if we overuse our ego or if we're too confident in what we think and why we think it, it prevents us from understanding other people's perspective. So is it good? Yes. But again, when it becomes bad is when it's too strong.